How was that like when you first heard the news that Tupac got shot in Vegas? Because you had to come out to Vegas, right? Yes. Yeah, psych, big psych, um, big psych called me and said that uh, Pac got shot. And uh, I had doubts about the story. I was like, man, Pac probably shot somebody. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Pac shot somebody, rolling with the death row nigga. He, he probably did pop somebody. And, uh, uh, by the morning, I knew it was him, and uh, I shot straight to Vegas. So when you got to the hospital, how was that like? Because I heard that Pac, he was getting death threats when he was at the hospital. Like, people was calling up to the hospital making threats. Yeah, it was very intense. A lot of emotions. People were sad. Um, uh, death threats. Uh... But we, hell, you know, we try to form some security detail, at least around the, the floor, around his his room, because he they had him on the first floor. But um, so me, brother Watani, Storm, a few others, we try to secure the area. You know, do as much as we can. Yeah, I heard a lot of people was mad about that, man. I heard Gaddafi; he was real mad about Pac being on the first floor. Yeah, thug in peace, my little brother Gaddafi. Yeah, um, yeah, he was one of them. He was down with us. Yeah, we were pissed off. I'm like, you know, this is a assassination attempt, right? And y'all got him on the, the first floor near a window. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not rocket science. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we, we, we if they ain't going, it was like, if he can't be moved, then we got to lock it down. When you was at the hospital, right, how was Tupac conditioned? Because you got so many conflicting stories, right? You got some people that say that, you know, Tupac was moving in the hospital. He was, you know, talking in the hospital. But you being there, from your point of view, how was Tupac conditioned? By the time I got there, remember, I was coming from L.A. So by the time I got there, he had tubes in his throat, in his nose, in his mouth. So he ain't talked to me, not verbally. He was conscious. He was trying to talk. He did want to talk, but he didn't actually verbalize any words. Uh, I always, you know, that's one of my, gonna be one of the biggest mysteries in my life because he was trying to tell me something. He was trying so hard. He was, he was shaking the bed. He was looking at me, you know, with his big old eyes, you know, and uh, I know he was trying to tell me something, but I don't know. Something else I want to ask you, because I think it would be appropriate before we get off the Vegas thing, last thing, because um, I know I did an interview with Napoleon, and they all gave me their reasons why Afeni pulled the plug because of his condition, but I mean, it would be more appropriate since you was his brother. Afeni, her decision to pull the plug on him, um, from your point of view, what made her pull the plug, respectfully? Because he had already flatlined a couple of times. And she didn't want him to keep going through that. I think it was like twice before she, you know, let him go. And um, that's that's reasonable, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, when I was, you know, when I found out, I, you know, I could live with it more, you know? Yeah, man, sad, man. I heard if he would have survived, he would have never been the same Tupac. Like, no. he would have never been able to rap no more. Yeah, his, 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 it hit him in his lungs, you know, where the voice, you know, yeah, he wouldn't have been the same. He wouldn't have been happy. You know.